Sadly, if you own a console, you can't install a VPN on it. So if your ISP sucks and throttles your speed, there's no avoiding that since there's no way to connect your console to the VPN server. Or is there? What if I told you that with a good VPN for PlayStation, you can get access to a lot of sweet stuff by connecting your router directly to the VPN server? I'll show you exactly how to make VPNs for PlayStation work and give you my top picks for PlayStation VPNs. Now, getting a VPN for PlayStation 4 or 5 to work can be pretty difficult. But once it's all up and running, it will enable your system to do two key things. One, a VPN will stop your ISP from throttling your speed, meaning you'll see a good improvement in speed, though your ping may decrease a little bit. And two, a good VPN for PlayStation will let you access geo-locked content, enabling you to join different multiplayer servers, buy games at a better regional price, and watch new content with streaming apps. Okay, so here we go. To get a VPN for PlayStation 4 or 5, you need to install a VPN on your router. I'm going to show you my NordVPN router setup in this tutorial, but remember, this will work with any of the best VPNs, router supporting ones I need. Step one, access the control panel. The first step is accessing your router's control panel. To get that done, type the following address into your browser search bar. If that doesn't work, check the default gateway in the section hardware and connection properties of the network settings. Once you've done it, time to log in. By default, username and password is often admin, or it can be listed on the back panel of your router device. Step two, VPN panel. Time to get the VPN going. Look for a menu or tab named VPN. Click on it, then navigate yourself over to a VPN client. Important to note, not all routers have VPN client support. For NordVPN, you should look for an open VPN or an IPsec client. Step three, download open VPN configuration files. Self-explanatory, isn't it? NordVPN and most other VPNs have dedicated pages with configuration files. Click here to open the tab and check it out after the video or follow the link from the description. Step four, open the file. You downloaded it, neat. Now go back to the VPN control panel and upload it right in there. Boom, baby. Step five, log into your VPN. Once you've uploaded the file, if you're using an ASUS router, most fields should automatically fill themselves in. Otherwise, you'd have to do it yourself. In either case, your VPN credentials won't be one of those auto-filled fields, so you're gonna have to input them yourselves. These are the server credentials that you can get by logging into your VPN account with the browser. Step six, DNS setup. If you don't want DNS leaks, you'll better set up the one DNS settings. Go to the advanced settings and set the connect to DNS server automatically to no. Then type in these IPs into DNS server one and two. Though if you have a different router, your steps could be a little different. Step seven, apply. Finally, click apply and yes, that's it and everything was done right. The service date should switch on. While we've set up the NordVPN router settings, it's always wise to check your specific router instructions in case of differences. Okay, let us now check out the best VPNs that are router compatible. First, NordVPN. NordVPN is the first on my list because yes, it's compatible with routers. Secondly, it's one of the fastest services I've tried. Across all the test runs from the US to the UK, Nord reached upload and downloads easily capable of streaming 4K or playing without lag. Performance-wise, Nord is one of the best performing VPNs on the market. They have over 5,200 servers, 24-7 live chat, and while their standard price comes in around $3 per month, they also have a free trial on Android, giving you the perfect opportunity to take it for a spin. An unfortunate thing to note is that NordVPN's smart DNS feature doesn't quite work with its consoles, but with Nord set up on your router, it shouldn't be a problem. Next up is Surfshark. Surfshark is another great VPN, generally all round pretty similar in specs to Nord. While its speeds are slightly slower with lower lows and lower highs, they're still able to handle 4K streaming in high demand areas and game online without lag. Talking performance, all Surfshark servers are physical and RAM only, meaning you can expect better performance and security unless your router bottlenecks limiting your speed. 
Their server list is slightly smaller too, but not exactly limited with 3,200 available servers to choose from. Coming in at about $2 per month, that includes unlimited device coverage, plus a free seven day trial on Android, iOS, and Mac OS. And while Surfshark has a similar smart DNS to Nord, officially the Surfshark VPN PlayStation relationship is pretty good. It works with an Amazon Fire Stick and thanks to its smart DNS should work with most other streaming devices as well. Finally, we have Private VPN. I consider this as a lightweight VPN, so basically an easy to use VPN. It's not the fastest nor does it perform amazingly, but it's straightforward to set up, cheap, and an overall good choice for beginners. Talking speed for a moment, Private VPN is the slowest of the three, but it can still handle streaming without any issues. It's only got around 150 servers, still has 24 seven customer support. Costs only a mere $2 per month. Keep in mind that while you'd want to try a free VPN for PlayStation 4 or 5, unfortunately, most free VPNs can't be set up on routers and don't have stable enough server performance to make it worthwhile. Meaning, while you can't get a free VPN for PlayStation 4 and 5, the minuscule monthly cost is totally worth it. And with that, you now know how to configure a VPN to work with your router, and therefore, your PlayStation. Check out the links in the description for exclusive VPN offers and discounts. Apart from that, good luck setting up your VPN. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell button if you found this video useful, and I'll see you next time. Good luck, and stay frosty, everyone.